what is up YouTube it is time for a boneless review I am your host boneless queen let's get into it so the record that I'm going to be reviewing today is called the space for earth by Osric tentacles Osric tentacles is a psychedelic uh, progressive space rock band from the early 90s uh, really prominent in the festival circuit uh, back in the 90s and in the early 2000s and uh, yeah they just put out a new record Space for Earth and let's get into it so the first thing I want to say about this album mainly is that it really reminds me of a very early porcupine tree record or maybe even a uh, a Euro pop record from the 90s, you know, very, uh, very heavy on the synths, uh, very heavy with uh, the sequencers, which uh, that actually segues into uh, another thing in my notes here. Uh, a lot of use of uh, older sounds that they've used in the past or like older riffs that they've used in the past. Um, and, you know, they're varying use of time signatures, you know, that's a uh, a big thing of course you know the gated reverb on the drums is there you know as all their records have always always had um yep uh i feel like that could really be drawn from steve albini and you know him sort of revolutionizing using reverb on drums but uh yeah Another thing I want to talk about about this record is how experimental it can feel at times. Um, you know, everyone likes to make that joke, oh, all prog bands are, you know, really experimental, but um, I stream over on uh, twitch.tv, uh, twitch.tv slash boneless. Um, I, t I stream over there and I do uh, live reactions, and if any of you watch the stream I did, uh, I guess as of recording this last night, um, I was just blown away with how uh, experimental it got with its signature changes. It's like going from down tempo to up tempo and really just like hammering in that solid, you know, uh, uh, you know, influence of like, you know, taking the old and blending it with the new. And I really liked that. I really liked that a lot. A lot of math rock influences in there, um, and I thought, you know, that was really cool. Um, it's because it's adding a new dimension of music to an already established sound, and that's where its experimental nature comes into play. Also, I feel like these cats probably did a lot of drugs. I guess just some side notes here, uh, a lot of uh, really nice use of flute, I always love when any sort of rock band, you know, incorporates a flute into their sound, uh, it's always a real nice little touch, nice little subtle touch, um, and then you have a uh, Middle Eastern influence with like chord progressions and just different uh, note structures, uh, Definitely different uh, keys and whatnot being used, and that is something that's really cool to see. You don't see that in a lot of Western music very much. Uh, yeah, and I think that is going to... Actually, no, I actually... Oh, yeah, the ending track on the record. Oh, my God, was the ending track on the record good. It tied everything up in this neat little package and just made the whole listening experience so worth it. Uh, as a music creator myself, sometimes I find it very hard to um, uh, listen to something for like a long amount of time. Uh, I think the two most recent records I've listened to front to back that I actually enjoyed listening to front to back were... Uh, uh, the Fuzz 3 record, uh, I have a review of that on this channel as well, and this record. Uh, so weirdly right now, I'm just getting into the, the thing of, you know, uh, figuring out how I'm going to 
formulate and do these. You know, I have a, a big long list of notes here, and uh, that's how I'm going to formulate reviews from now. But I'm terrible at segues, so I'm just going to edit in me talking about the future of this series and some other series that are popping up on my channel. So, yeah. So, the future of the channel is going to be really interesting. Right now, I've been using it to upload just, like, dumb skit videos that me and my friends made. And then, um, uh, music I make. I'm still going to be uploading music to the channel. And I'll still be doing skits, too. Like, I've got a video I have to film today. That's, uh, for Friday. That's going to be pretty funny, I think. But, um, uh... No, uh, so on Wednesdays, I'm going to be uploading this video, or these videos, uh, the music reviews. I'm going to be, uh, early in the week, I'm going to find a record that I want to listen to that's newer, and then review, and then, you know, do that. Just because I enjoy it, it gives me time to, like, it kind of gives me an excuse to sit down and listen to a whole record front to back, and be like, okay, this is what I like, this is what I didn't like. And, you know, as a musician, I enjoy um, listening to music just as much as making it. So, um, Another thing that's going to be happening on the channel is the integration of, like, me doing live streaming content and then me doing uh, my actual, you know, content over here. Uh, I'll probably be doing, like, stream highlight videos, and that's really just dependent on, like... Um, whether or not I'm doing like a reaction stream for uh, uh, like a music review or I'm doing uh, a script writing thing for a video. You know, I'm definitely, you know, if I live stream those, you know, you're not going to see the script, but you will be seeing, you know, what I'm watching, what I'm thinking about, you know. You might get some general idea of what's going to happen in the video, but... I feel like I've rambled on too long about this, but pretty much music, music reviews, uh, and commentary videos that I probably put a little more editing into than I should. Or maybe I should edit more. I don't know. I would like to hire an editor at some point. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, don't forget to comment subscribe click that bell icon uh, all that generic trash that youtubers say and i'm out of here peace uh another review next friday